Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with selections for Friday the 13th of May. But first, a quick recap on Thursday performance. Well, once again, we had a non-runner. And then we had, let me just think, this is all from memory. We had two placed horses and the disappointing strong power. It wasn't enough to get the money back, but I thought Royal royal Patronage, patronage. I thought it ran very well. I thought it was a winner all the way round. I didn't really see the one that, that did win. It came near side. Um, maybe if they raced together, it could have been a different story. I don't know, but it makes no difference now. So um, we had some returns. It wasn't enough to cover today's bet, but moving on, let's move on to Friday selections. Just before I do, um, for Saturday's selections, if, if there are any subscribers or even non-subscribers who would like a particular race analysing on Saturday, then feel free to mention the race in Friday's Friday video's comments. So basically, this video, put it in the comments on a race that you would like analysed on Saturday. Bearing in mind, if it's an extra place race, there might be a good chance that I actually cover it anyway. Especially if it's one of the main races. So um, let's get into Friday's racing. So I'm at York once again. So the first selection is Primrose Ridge at 14 to 1. In the 150 at York, paying five places instead of three. And this is with Skybet. They're all with Skybet. Well, this is an interesting horse, Primrose Ridge. I first tipped this horse when it had never run before in the Brockenby, when there was all making the debuts. It was the first two-year-old race of the season. I looked at the breeding and it was bred to be a basically a bullet. Well it ran absolute cracker at 40 to 1. Uh, it looked like winning for a decent way round but then um, there was a, a, a Hannon horse that actually won well in the end. I'm going to show you this race now and it's very interesting. So Primrose Ridge I'll just straighten the screen up for you. As you can see, in the first race, it ran in 40 to 1. Jason Watson, yeah, ran a decent race. There's a bit more I want to show you about it, but because. Once it had had that run, it finished behind a Richard Hannon horse owned by the. I don't know if, it's, if they call it Ammo Racing. A M O Racing, yeah. It won very well. It even says impressive. So yeah. So I would guess that would be one of the Richard Hannon, probably some, one of his best two-year-olds, ridden by Ross Ryan. So let me just scroll down. So as you can see, it was owned by S. Dodd and Harrison Court Stables until the third of April. So basically. It ran in the Brockleby, it ran an absolute cracker, and then the winners of the Brockleby actually bought this horse. So it's now also owned by Ammo Racing. So in my opinion, the Hannon horse that won the, Brock won the Brocklesby is very, very highly rated. And I think the fact that this horse got as close, although it was beaten four, several four lengths, the fact that it got as close as what it did, I thought, uh, sorry, I think... That syndicate actually thinks, wow, let's buy that horse because we're surprised anything even got that close to it. So since then, it actually ran at Red Coyle. It was all cut away under the new ownership, be beaten at once to, but only by three quarters of length. The third time it's actually ran, the second time for the current owners, it actually hacked up by seven lengths. I actually saw it this day and it, it won really well. Well, I think there's a lot, still a lot more to come from this. And I'm quite impressed with the fact that they've got Frankie on board. So I think with them paying, just try to remember how many it is again, five places. I think it's got a cracking chance of place. I'm still thinking it's got a decent chance of winning. But anyway, that's enough rambling about that horse. They're not all going to be quite so in-depth as that. So the second selection is Parachute at 15 to 2 in the 3 o'clock at York, paying five places instead of three. This horse definitely stays this trick. It's never run. <laughs> Hold on, once again. Sorry, I thought it had. It's run once over the course, over one mile six in the Melrose. 
I don't think it stayed that day, but it's over one mile two tomorrow, and it definitely stays that trip. So occasionally, it's been it's been racing. Look, made all prominent chase leader, and this was over one mile four furlong on decent ground. So so far this season, bearing in mind it was gelded gelded over the winter or in autumn, it reappeared at March. Slowly away, held up towards the back over one mile two. And then prominent, it was prominent in the Epsom race. I can remember this race and going gone set an absolute screaming pace. Even much so the fact that there was a Johnson, Mark Johnson horse that tried to go with it and it couldn't and it finished basically it tailed off. That, that was actually one of my tips, I think. I think it was King's Prince. So that was an improved run. I think, I think the Gelder, uh, being Gelder has actually helped, but I, I think they're using the blinkers because they still think there's a little bit more in foot. They think there's more improvement to come from the horse. Tom Marquand sticks with the horse. Like, as you can see, he's actually won on the horse and ridden actually several decent races on this horse. And I think it's got a decent chance tomorrow, especially as they're paying five places. The third horse is Strongbow at 28 to 1. And the 4.45 at York paying six places instead of four. Well, I tipped this last time and it ran nothing more than OK. But I also tipped Cruyff Turn. But as you know, that actually won today. And that horse ran no better than this horse last time. I think six places, I think it's got a cracking chance. It's got Cam Hardy on board. And that doesn't mean it's like a second or third um, fancy. I think this, this horse is strongly fancied. And I think it's got a cracking chance. The final selection is it Red Warning at 14 to 1 in the 520 at York, paying five places instead of four. Well, this horse is, is, is from the stable of Michael Dodds. They're in cracking form. I do think there's a lot more to come. It ran on soft ground at Thirsk last time. I looked at the breeding. There's actually two full brothers to this horse. And neither and particularly want slow ground so i think the ground i think this horse has strengthened up over the winter it was it, it ran on ground that it definitely didn't want soft ground is horrible at first and i think because this horse has got plenty of pace it absolutely hated the ground and hated the race but what it will have done it will have come on massively for the run so i think there's a, a much better performance due from this horse i think 14 to 1 is too too big for a michael dodds horse at York, he seems to be in cracking form. So, what I've had, I've had a 50 pence each way, lucky 15, and I've had a pound each way on each selection, as you can see there. There's me lucky 15, there's me pound each way select singles. Yep. So, as I mentioned, if you've got this far in the video, please give me a like, please, please give me a subscribe. If you want to, as a thank you, there's, uh, there's a link in the in the description for buy me a coffee um, if you want to once again if you want to race on Saturday analyzing feel free to mention in the comments I will add it to the back end of my Saturday tips video anyway the very best of luck Charlie Winters over now cheers mate